Toyota says EVs are not the answer. The hybrids are a lot better answer. And Toyota gets slammed pretty hard on the global stage with the Green Initiative because they don't support a landslide to EVs. For every EV that, that you make, you could have made 15 or 20 plug-in hybrids. The same amount of content that goes into the battery. The EP had a mandate that when they considered the emissions of a vehicle, they had to consider what did it take to make the vehicle and what did it take to drive the vehicle, all of it. They had suspended that every year since 2012. In April, they permanently removed it. Most of these EVs are not cleaner than ICE vehicles until maybe you get 80 or 90,000 miles on a car, and on a pickup, it might take 150,000 miles before it's actually cleaner than an ICE vehicle. And nobody's talking about what about the impact of getting all these minerals out of the ground, which trust me, if we had to get those battery minerals in the United States, we would never do it, right? Because it's dirty, it hurts the environment, but it's fine if it's somewhere else. We can turn a blind eye. Toyo Facts. I, 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 man, the EV conversation is so, oh, it's such a, it's a good conversation, but it's pointless at the same time, right? Because you're going to have folks that are just like headstrong, dead on it. Like, we need all electric cars right now. Get rid of combustion motors. Bleep, 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 bleep. And then you're going to have some people that are actually reasonable and they'll listen to your argument. And I agree. As If we're talking about the environment, hybrids are probably, not probably, they they are. They are the 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 number one solution right now and like all the manufacturers have the technology to produce them right now at the cost that people can afford them unlike evs which are just bro evs have taken all cars and shot them through the roof you know what's crazy it reminds me of of uh property right you could live in a 30 40 year old neighborhood it's all dilapidated and trashed out and if they build a brand new neighborhood right next to yours and start selling those homes for three times what your home is even worth your home automatically goes up in value and the the car industry is doing the same thing because evs are selling for such a high price regular cars are just going up they're going up because people are showing hey we got the money and don't give a damn about paying that much for it anyway. We're going to buy it. And so companies are like, well, shit, they're going to pay that much for that. I'll just knock five grand off of this compared to that. And they'll buy this instead. But EVs are hurting the planet, bro. If you knew what it took to mine that cobalt, if you don't know, I highly, highly recommend you go check out them cobalt mines and see the conditions that those workers are in. Not only that, what it's doing to the environment, how it busts. Oh, my gosh, dude. Let me tell you all something. We're not supposed to be digging craters in the, in the earth. Let me tell you why. And let me give you one good example of why. The human body consists of trillions of organisms, including your cells, right? Billions, if not trillions, I should say. And some of these organisms, most of them actually make up your body. You're more organisms than you are your body. Okay? Stay with me. On the surface, you have on your skin, there's organisms that live on your skin, and they live, they live symbiotically with your organ called the skin. They help by removing certain toxins from your skin. Your toxins feed them in return, whatever the case may be. What if you have one of them organisms that decided, hey, I'm just going to dig holes and I'm going to pull stuff out from this place and I'm going to move it around over here and I'm going to use it for this. I don't think that'd be too healthy for your body. Big ass holes in the ground disrupt the environment. The other creatures in the area and vicinity, you destroy their homes, right? You destroy, sometimes the, the, the mining situations can affect the environment as far as the weather goes, okay? Pulling those metals out of the ground disrupts the natural magnetic fields that are around. Bro, there's so many things that happen. It's dirty, right? People are being injured and hurt. And people die in those mines, right? One person's life is precious enough to be like, nah, this ain't good enough. We don't need to be doing this. I really feel like EVs EVs are 
the reason we never pursued them is because, first of all, war in the world is too rampant to have an infrastructure infrastructure built with all electric vehicles. If one EMP attack happened, boom, you're done. You're you're screwed. Get back to your legs. Where's your bicycle at? Like, what are you really gonna do? You know what I mean? Like, you're done. <clears throat> I think a far more better solution to EVs is actually gonna be alternative fuel sources. And I don't mean hydrogen fuel. I mean when I was when I was younger, I, there used to be this commercial on TV that was saying algae farms would be the fuel of the future. We are building these farms so that you can have fuel for your cars, your homes, and stuff like that. And I was like, dang, not only that, algae farms produce more oxygen. What happened to that? That would be such a great solution, right? We have E85, which is made from corn. Uh, I don't know if y'all know how the oil industry even shut down ethanol being your your gas, your fuel source. Ethanol, ethanol burned cleaner. It kept the engine cleaner. It, 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 it uh, delivered more power from the motor, more efficient motors. And the oil industry said, nah, nah, you got to put some oil in that. Look that up. Obsession with celebrities. Celebrity worship linked to lower intelligence. Study finds. A study suggests that people who are obsessed with the celebrities may score lower on cognitive tests. The study finds that the association may be due to a number of factors, including cognitive resources, social comparison, and unrealistic expectations. Continue reading at pmwtv.com. Absolutely believe that. I believe that if you idolize, bro, don't don't do that. Don't idolize people. Don't idolize celebrities. Don't do that. I'm not gonna get into why. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's a reason that certain certain empires fell, and you should not be idolizing any humans, bro. Let's don't do that. Don't do that. So what a lot of people don't know is that Mexico <clears throat> is bordered with Guatemala. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. We don't let them in. So the same thing that America does to Mexico, we do to Guatemala. Okay? It, it just, the news is CNN, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, uh, New York Post, they're never going to show you that. There were, just so you know, Mexico is extremely racist. So we have what are Facts. Like Guatemalans. Even to its own Mexicans. Facts. I remember, Mexico was, was dominated by Spaniards. The only reason I look the way I look yes. is because I'm 65% Spaniard. Yeah. Mexicans, like real Mexicans, or which is known as Mexica, not Mexico, yes. Mexica, are, you know, five foot four, super dark with big noses and the heads pushed back. Facts! Aztecs oh, my mind. gosh. Like, uh, Indians. Like Indian. Indians. Yes. Well, we're natives, right? Yeah. So we're, we're blended. So the reality is in Mexico, till this day, if you are not light complected, somewhat tall, you're frowned upon to this day. So a lot of people don't Bars, bars, and more bars. Oh my gosh. What did this man just, oh. <laughs> we ain't even gotta get into it. He spoke for us. It's stupid, bro. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got a only fans page. Out of all these years, you know, the disrespect that comes with it, that you couldn't even talk to me before you did it. That's bullshit, bro. That's fucked up, please. I'm telling you, bro. That's fucked up. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Calm, but you're not gonna say fuck me or that's fucked up. It's not what fucked up. You're recording me. What the fuck you doing? <sighs> Listen, it's not fucked up, and we're going to. Up. Okay, look. So I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course, I'm mad. I'm just finding but out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, it. my I'm body, my fucking choice? I'm your partner. You're supposed to come to me and talk to Joe, me. Joe, I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no you solution. Knew, you knew who the fuck I was when you met me. Before. Before. Before, before, yeah, we before, met, yeah, I and knew I that. thought that I would never have to go Man, back to anything already, yeah, I knew like that before again, but unfortunately, no, no, no. that's not the case right after now. That, after that, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, 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 no. Obviously, everything, it hasn't. No, it had to, I had to do something. It hasn't. You stood out there showing your body. 
You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the Man, fuck? Come on, Keisha, with that. It, it don't matter what they breaking you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? Even, you couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. Because I had so. to find out on the fly. All right, then. But now, okay. No, so, wait. I had to find out on the fly. So now you know. Yeah, now I know. Okay. And so? Whatever. I've been doing what I have to do, period. Like, that's bottom line. That's what it is. I know this video pulled up a lot of controversy. Um, controversy? I know this video pulled up a lot of controversy. Um... Man, poor Joe. Poor Joe, man. He got it. He he got he got tied up in some some cat that dismantled his logical thinking faculties. Thought it was a good idea to wife that up. And I I, I bet you I know what he's thinking too. He's like, man, if I try to get out of this, now she going she gonna take what I got left. Mm. That's tough, man. That's a tough situation. That's a tough situation because you would expect your wife to have the common decency to understand these things already. But at the same time, that's why you have these conversations before putting a ring on it. You know what I mean? Like, you're supposed to find this out prior, Joe. Let's keep it a buck, dog. Like, nobody do to blame but you for this situation. Like, you knew what she was. For you to think she was ever going to be something different is tripped out. I, I really don't believe that. Personally, I don't believe, um, I don't believe people change. I don't think that's a, a thing. I think people more so become more of who they are, truly. I, I have this saying, I say, uh, you can't ask a rose to be anything but a rose. Now, when it's first growing, right, and before it has, you know, the bud that becomes the rose, and all this stuff, like we're just talking about the actual bush before it's got to grow out these these branches, right? And they don't necessarily have the thorns that are gonna prick you yet. Um, they're soft still, but as it gets older, the thorns harden to protect the bud from animals and stuff or whatever. Like, I just think it's very unrealistic of people to think that other people are going to change when they're really just showing you more of who they are and if you don't agree with who they are I think you should just distance yourself from them back yourself out of the situation or explain to them how you don't think that this is going to work out between the two of you because you're just two different people that see the world too differently and it's not going to be a relationship that's going to end up with happiness that's how I feel like you should move on it but I don't know, man. This this whole situation with her, yes, she's wrong. She should have told her husband what she was doing prior. Um, but he's also wrong too, right? Because for him to expect her not to do something like this is just foolish. Let's keep it a buck. They both wrong, and they just blasting their business all over the place. Really, she's blasting it out there, and she's wrong for that. But um, as soon as he saw her um, recording... I would have cut the conversation. I wouldn't have said more. I wouldn't have said anything else. Personally. You know what I mean? I, I would have got rid of you in silence. New era. I'm feeling quite bad. So take another talk. Yeah. Choke us up.